pumping out some liquid feed. Go put on a few hives right now. Hey, welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. I'm getting some division board feeders cleaned up, filled up, put in some boxes. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to make a uh, quick class announcement. I'm not going to say much about it. Uh, if you want to know details, it's below. Same class we did last year. Uh, scheduled for March 11th right now. So if you're interested, go ahead and sign up. I got to feed this one here and I might not have to feed this one here. That sucker's heavy. I got to move them though. So I'm going to move this one out from under this before it falls on it. Or well, I got to take it down anyway. That one will not get a feeder. That thing's heavy. Probably 80 pounds, 90 pounds total. But that's equipment and everything, so there's not 80 pounds of honey in there. But it's got plenty, at 80 pounds, give or take, uh, it's got plenty of honey in it. I'm not even gonna open it up. Uh, I got, it's getting dark on me and I got some others I gotta feed too, so. Uh, so I just moved them, you know, from there to there. Got a bunch of foragers coming back in for the evening they'll they'll find it if not tonight in the morning this one's very light I can pick it up with the propolis on the lid there's a wax moth larva They still got honey in there, just uh, I mean, there's enough to there's enough to get them by, but I'm gonna go on and feed them. They're looking okay. They look like they got enough stores to get them on through. Cause this is the top box still. You still got the bottom box down there where the brood is. All these cells here are polished. There's not any pollen around the edges, but it looks like they're getting ready for her to start laying in them. Getting ready for the queen to start laying. This side here, however, they're just stuffing with nectar. Same thing here. They got plenty. They got plenty of honey. I'm gonna stick a feeder on them anyway. They're not not overloaded with honey, and that box is light enough. I don't want to wait until there's a problem to address it. It's a one-gallon feeder. This is one type of hive beetle defense. It's a Swiffer dry clean pad. You can see those beetles stuck in it. They get their legs hung in it. This hive thankfully doesn't have a beetle problem. These Swiffer pads will catch, you know, they'll catch a lot. This one didn't have a lot of beetles in it, but you can see the ones that are in there are getting hung up in this thing. these in a while so I don't know what they're going that one's nice and heavy 
Oh, that one was kind of heavy. I better check it. Oh, they sound healthy. They're nice and active when I pull the lid. Top box is just empty, it looks like. So I'm fishing to take it off. Yeah, that's a nice strong box there. Come on now. Trying to sting me in the face. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go and leave this top box on them and put a feeder inside of it. Everything else looks good. I'm gonna leave this one rocking and rolling. Going with this one, it's probably gonna be the same way. Maybe have time to look at one or two more before it gets too dark for you to really see much on the camera. Oh, they uh, got a beetle problem. They got them corralled really nice, which is a good thing. That means there's not not necessarily a problem per se, but they got way more beetles than I want to see in a hive. But it's a good strong hive. They got plenty of honey stored up. The stack is incredibly heavy. I would say they get at least a full box of honey and maybe one and a half. And um, oh, let me show you. They had all these beetle corralled when I pulled the lid off. All right, now settle down, ladies. I'm moving. I'm moving slow. So they build these corrals out of propolis. Uh, they run run the beetles up in here and then close in the corral and keep them in there and starve them out. Some of them will have an opening, like this one's got an opening on the end of it. This is a wax moth larva I found in the beetle corral. Oh, I'm moving too fast. Got to back off and give them a second. It's a, anyway, hygienic hive, dirtiest part of it is inside these beetle corrals where they, you know, corral the beetles for real. They build these little enclosures. This one's got an opening on it. There's some dead beetles down there that they kept in long enough to starve out. They don't always starve them out, but that's, that's really the only method they have for killing beetles is starving them. Other than that, hive looks really healthy, really strong, strong on supplies and strong on numbers. I um, think I'm gonna go ahead and put a, another box and a feeder on top of these. So I'm gonna go ahead, I've got another box here with some drawn comb that I'm gonna put on with a feeder and you know, like I say, this is all this is all a matter of feel. You see what you feel like your box needs and you do it. Don't worry about what everybody else is screaming you must do or you must not do. It's not the end of the world if you do something a little off. And it's not the end of the world if you kill a hive. If you keep bees long enough, you're gonna kill some bees. So don't worry about all that. I mean it's it's a hard hit financially, especially if you can't afford to do anything but start small, but uh, can't dwell on all that nonsense. You just gotta do it. What happens, happens. Learn from it. Try to do better on the next go round. So this box is going on top of here with a one gallon division board feeder. Frame feeder, pro feeder, 
internal feeder or whatever you want to call it. What you say, big dog? Hey, what you doing? Got a B class coming up? Yeah, we're going to be doing it the second weekend of March. Tell me uh, about it. What's up? March 11th. Um, that's the same, second weekend in March. It's the same weekend we did it last year, but Bogaloose and a lot of small towns around us, people couldn't even get to us because of the flood water. What did we end up with, 60 or 70 participants last year? Yeah. I like that screensaver. I think it was about 65. <laughs> um, so there was about, we had about 90 signed up, so there was about 30 people that couldn't even make it. So, How many spaces you got? We got room for about 100 people. You want to do the same, same this year? Same thing. All right. Just more of it. Is all the same crew going to be there? Absolutely. Yeah, same crew. <laughs> Bottom motor to replace it. And that's what I get on my that's my old my old blender. How many lines you want to hit? <laughs>